welcome back. You're watching Your World at 10. Now, just rewind to February when in the budget, the government announced a tax on coal that will go towards funding a clean energy fund. Now, with coal production in the country uh, exceeding roughly 500 million tons, this tax could net the government 2,700 crore rupees. That's upwards of $600 million. So that's a neat sum. Now, that coupled with SOPs for wind and solar power and a national solar mission target of 20,000 megawatts indicates a renewed focus on green energy in India. Tonight on Your World at 10, we thought we'd explore the area of green energy and alternate energy and ask how best can the government's clean energy fund be put to use. Well, joining me to do that, Shiraz Haji of the Clean Tech Group, and he's joining us from San Francisco, Ratnesh Yadav of Husk Power Systems, joining us from Bihar, and H.S. Wadhwa of Azure Power. Gentlemen, we have quite a crowd here from Many across India. Let me now go across to Mr. Wadhwa. Azure runs India's first private sector solar power plant of a 2 megawatt capacity in Punjab which has your hopes to expand to 5 megawatts. And uh, Mr. Wadhwa, you intend to set up 15 megawatts in Gujarat, 12 megawatts in Karnataka, all that will start generating this year and sell to the national grid. You have about $60 million of external funding from Helion, IFC, World Bank. The question I'd like to ask you, though, is how scalable is this solar power model? When do you think it will become an important or a significant contributor to power source in India? Scalable is that uh, today, as you know, that we, we are setting up, uh, extending our plant in Punjab. Then we are going to have in Gujarat also 15 megawatt, then 12 uh, megawatt in Karnataka. And we are also going to set up another plant in Rajasthan. And with so many other util utilities, our conversation and uh, discussions are already in place. And within, within three years of period, we will be able to set up not less than uh, 100 megawatt of solar power plants in India. 100 megawatts is still a very small contribution to India's total power requirements. Uh, Do you expect, Mr. Vadhwa, that uh, solar will ever become a significant contributor? Yeah, ultimately in the period of calm, uh, the only thing is that uh, we require a lot of uh, land uh, for the solar power. And uh, there are a lot of uh, hitch-ups in uh, uh, acquiring big land parcels. Uh, but still the governments are now very cooperative, state governments are really uh, giving us a lot of help and support. And even there is a lot of uh, incentives and uh, push from the central government also. And in the days to come, definitely as per the new solar mission policy, Jawaharlal Nehru scheme policy, it is going to be in a very big way, it will be scaled like anything. All right, so you far made... we are at the fancy stage. All right, you... If they can uh, spend uh, money on the R&D sector, uh, that will be very useful. So far, uh, the cost of equipment is very high. And if we spend the money on R&D, naturally that will help in bringing us the cost of the plants. In turn, naturally we will be uh, supplying the power at a lower rates. One thing is that. Second thing is uh, the utilities, uh, the governments, which are uh, paying from their sources, plus the difference which the government has to pay, NTPC or MNRE or whatsoever it is, if they uh, share that, that portion also, uh, that will also encourage uh, the investors. Uh, another thing is uh, if they can finance something uh, as regards the projects, so far the banks are not very comfortable in financing the solar power plants. Uh, they, they ask for the over uh, uh, last five year returns and then this uh, generation record etc. This is a new industry and these things are not available. And if in any sort of guarantee or bank guarantee or they ask the banks, all these steps uh, will go in a big way for promoting this uh, solar energy business. All right, gentlemen, thank you very much for your ideas. Shiraz, Mr. Vadva, Ratish, thank you for joining us tonight. Let's hope we make it a, a beginning in the debate towards clean energy. Thank you for being on Your World at 10.